Hi, today we're gonna check out four choice examples from Samsung's 2017 TV lineup. We'll start with the entry-level model, work our way up to the flagship, the best TV that Samsung makes, and along the way, you'll learn what kind of design and picture quality differences you can expect as you move up. Let's take a look. Let's start by looking at what's going to be the same with every TV, and that's Samsung's smart TV platform, Tizen. No matter what TV you buy, you're going to enjoy the same streamlined, user-friendly interface. From the moment you turn a Samsung TV on, Tizen is there to guide you through basic setup, getting you connected to Wi-Fi, finding all your local TV stations if you're using an antenna, and best of all, Tizen will recognize almost any device connected via HDMI, relabel the input so you know how to get to it, then program itself to operate that device so you can use Samsung's one remote to control it all. And of course, all of Samsung's 4K UHD TVs support 4K streaming through compatible apps like Amazon, Netflix, and Vudu. Now let's dig into the MU6300 series, which is Samsung's most affordable 4K UHD TV with HDR. From a design perspective, this model isn't as flashy as some of the others, but it's still pretty handsome with this dark steel gray bezel. This model comes with three HDMI ports, one with ARC for easy connection to a soundbar, along with the other usual suspects. In terms of picture quality, the MU6300 isn't Samsung's brightest TV, so it doesn't have quite as high of contrast, and HDR isn't as intense as you'll find on more expensive models. But this is no slouch of a TV. With decent color, good black levels for the price, and more impressive picture quality than you'd get with a 1080p TV, for sure. If we move up a couple of notches, we get to the MU7500 series TV, which as you can see, is a curved model, one of the last of its kind since Samsung's the only major manufacturer to still make a curved TV. In this series, the TV is clearly a little sleeker, obviously curvy, it's got a nice uniform back. We also see a curved stand here like we did with the prior model. One thing to note is that this model is only available with a silver trim, though I've seen some pictures that make it look darker than that. Picture quality represents a slight tick up from the 6300, mostly in the brightness area, which helps HDR content pop off the screen better. Otherwise, color is vivid and bright, and overall, I think this is a really good looking TV with a surprisingly reasonable price considering its lush picture quality. From the MU7500, we jump up to the MU8000 where we're gonna see some much flashier design. The bezel is much trimmer, the profile is slimmer, it's got a uniform backside, and there's a chrome strip at the bottom playing nicely against the two-legged stand that we find in this series. Here as well, you get the Samsung One Connect mini box, which lets you connect all of your components to this one box, then run a single cable up to the TV. That's one of my favorite features because it's just so convenient. As for picture quality, the MU8000 punches well above its price point. HDR starts looking pretty amazing at this level because brightness is intense, as is color, and the black levels are looking very good here too. If you don't want to make the jump all the way up to Samsung's super premium QLED series, this is an outstanding choice. Finally, we get to the Q9, the crown jewel of Samsung's new QLED TV lineup, and in my opinion, the best TV that Samsung has ever made. There's just so much to see here. It's got a completely flat back and this hidden mounting bay, which allows an almost gapless wall mount when you use a special Samsung wall mount hardware. Then there's this optical cable, which is all but invisible, and it carries all of the video and audio signal to the TV from the full-sized One Connect box. As for picture quality, I can't say enough about it. The expanded color gamut is immediately apparent. This is some of the most impressive HDR 4K picture quality I've ever seen. I mean, top to bottom, it's one of the best three TVs we'll see all year from any manufacturer. And it's got a super premium feel with plenty of future proofing to make sure it lasts you a very long time. That's it for our rundown of some of the more notable 2017 Samsung TVs. If you want to learn more about any of these models, be sure to check out our full reviews.